Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're having a great day. So in today's video, I'm actually going to bring you some tips on how to win more gunfights in COD Mobile. So the first thing I'm actually going to talk about is aim. And I did have a whole video dedicated to this. If you want, you can go check it out on my channel. But I am going to go over how I actually warm up before every day when I start scrimming and playing ranked. So what I do is I go into a domination public match like this, as you can see what I'm doing here. And then at the end of the match, when I see my score, I look on the top right hand corner and it shows the percent of shots I actually hit. And I play around three to four games of domination Nuketown just because it's so fast paced. And every time I just try to up my percentage of shots I actually hit. So at the end of playing all these matches, my aim is going to be warmed up and ready to scrim and rank. So when you're actually talking about aiming, most people think just hitting as many shots as you possibly can. But at the top levels, most players are able to hit all of the shots on the enemies. So what's going to really set you apart and allow you to win gunfights is how fast you lock on the enemies. And what I mean by this is you see someone and how fast your red dot is actually on them. So for example, if you see someone pop out to your right and it's just if you manage to zoom in, swipe faster than them to start hitting them before they actually swipe and lock onto you, then you're going to win that gunfight. Uh, and this actually can be by milliseconds. Like milliseconds can win you some gunfights. So what I do is I like to just practice, just try practice trying to lock on them as fast as possible. Because some players I know uh, when they see people, they just try to aim and just casually just try to hit as many shots as possible. And they don't really focus on flicking as fast as they can every single time. And I even get in the habit of this myself. But if you just focus on it a lot more, especially in public matches, you just practice trying to get to them as fast as possible then it's just going to make you a better player and you'll notice you're going to start winning a lot more gunfights. So in order to win more gunfights, you're obviously going to need to control your recoil better. So what I do to actually practice my recoil is I start off by practicing with guns with tons of recoil, for example, the Type 25 or the MSMC, and I use them a lot and then I notice if the next game I switch to something like the AK-117 with a lot less recoil, I'm able to control it so much easier than I normally would. So try start off by trying to use a weapon that's going to screw up your aim a bit but once you learn to somewhat control that whenever you switch to an easier weapon it's going to be like a laser beam so aim is not going to 100 percent win you every single gunfight another way that you can win gunfights is using movement and as you might notice a lot of pros when you play against them they they look like they're faster than the average player but that's just because they have their movement so well down and i actually have a whole video on this so you can check that out but some things i'm going to mention right here is what i like to do and you've probably seen it done a ton in my videos is whenever I see an enemy player I slide a lot of the time especially if I'm close to them because most players in this game actually use a really low sensitivity so they're, they're not gonna be able to flick around behind them to try to kill you so a lot of the time instead of when you're in a close range situation instead of just trying to hip fire uh, jump away from them actually trying to slide through them can win you that gunfight now another way of movement that I like to use to win close range gunfight is actually bunny hopping. Uh, it's really useful, especially in this game where you guys have probably noticed the movement looks really, really weird sometimes. So a lot of time when people are bunny hopping, it, it just looks like they're kind of jittering in the air. And this helps a lot, especially if you're the one doing it because it's harder for the enemies to hit you. I wouldn't recommend doing this at long range. Sometimes you can do it at medium range, but most of the time it's really good for close range. Now I'm going to go over some movement for long range gunfights and for some reason I don't see a lot of people doing this but I love to crouch when I'm shooting especially at longer ranges because it reduces your recoil and it just allows you to hit more shots than you usually would if you're just standing there like usual and also it kind of throws off their aim a bit. This next movement tip could be used at close range and long range it just really depends sometimes at close range it can get you killed but drop shotting is super useful too to drop shot all you need to do is hold down the crouch button and then you're going to drop to the floor a lot of the time it can throw people off you should be using it when you're in a clear line of sight without really anything blocking you because when you drop shot a lot of the time you can't actually move because there's a chair or something next to you or sometimes you even get prone blocked and it can screw up your aim so the only time you should really really be using it is when you have a clear line of sight on them and it can really throw some enemies off. So the next form of movement is really tough, but it's probably the most effective and it's definitely my favorite. So what I like to do for this is when I know an enemy is around a corner, I slide, zoom in to cancel the slide and jump at the same time that I'm actually zooming in. So it is a little bit difficult, but if you can do this then you're gonna slide cancel and jump and zoom in at the same time. So for them, it just looks like you're coming out of the slide and immediately jumping and it's just really hard to hit you. And I think that's super effective and I like to do that, that and I like to actually pre-fire while I'm doing that. So that, it's really complicated. It requires four fingers to do. So if you're on a phone, I'm really sorry, but you can slide, cancel, 
jump and pre-fire at the same time and it's super effective for killing enemies. Now I didn't really want to talk about game synth too much in this video because that's really hard to develop and that requires its completely own video, but I do want to say pre-zooming is super important. You'll see me doing it all game, like almost every single game when I'm going around a corner, I'm going to zoom even for like half a second if I zoom in really fast. Uh, just in case there's an enemy there, I'm going to be able to aim down sights before him because hip fire is kind of broken and not very good anymore. So you want to zoom in before coming around corners just so you get first shot off. And you even see pros in console COD do this. And just practice as much as possible. I'm telling you, this is probably the most important tip out of this whole entire list of winning gunfights is pre-zoom in corners. Now another tip for winning gunfights is not challenging the whole way, kind of baiting them in. And what I mean by this is say you see someone, you start firing, he hits you, he gets you kind of low. Run back behind, uh, for example, if you're playing Nuketown, run back behind one of the buses and then you know he's going to be pushing you because he knows he got you low. So wait like a second, bait him in, then slide out in front of him and start shooting him and kill him. And this bait technique works really well. You see a lot of pros on the top level doing it. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all I have for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I tried to include as many as possible in this little tiny short time frame that I have. I didn't really want to drag on and waste your guys' time. If you enjoyed the video, remember to click like because it really helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time.